Hello lovelies, it's G here from Golden Thread Tarot. How are you doing today? I am here to bring you another channel message. I hope this message is from you. Blessed and full of abundance. Holy crap Oli. I'm so sorry. Holy crap Oli. Did I just see something over here? <laughs> Holy crap. I'm so sorry. That threw me off. That hella threw me off. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's go ahead and dive in. So, there is a fiery climax approach. It, uh, uh, there's a fire, fiery climax approaching, okay, that is going to bring about the end of a cycle, okay? The end of a cycle here. And it is going to bring about the beginning of a new cycle, of a new type of union here. So, I, I really think there's a new... Uh, soul contract that's coming in here that's about to start playing out for you here and it is a high priest high priestess I really feel like your intuition really feels this coming so <laughs> passion so this, there is this energy of passion here um like a fire like a, it's giving me an ace of wands energy like a a passion being ignited here for you. <laughs> oh, I'm still laughing at myself. Okay. There's definitely a big awakening energy that's happening here for you. And Spirit just wants you to know, okay, um, that you are being protected here. You are being protected here from some type of masculine energy here, okay, that is going through some type of... Um, so you can identify this as... Now this, I don't want you to read this as just as love, okay? Because this could this be good friendship, this could be family, this could, it could be love, um, it could be soulmate, twin flame, lover situation, it could be a family member. There is some, you are being protected here from some kind of masculine energy here, okay? It's about to go through this kind of like shutdown or this winter energy here, okay? So Spirit wants you to know that you are protected from that energy, Okay. And I feel like that's kind of the energy that's closing out. There is this old masculine energy here, okay, that is going through some kind of karmic cycle here, all right? And you are being protected from that, okay? You are being protected from that energy. So Spirit just wants you to know that. Um Yeah, so Spirit says there is an opportunity here for you to release, okay, for you to release and to let go and to have like uh, an opportunity for bigger picture thinking here, okay? So I really feel like whoever this karmic energy is right here, this, well, I didn't mean to say karmic, but karmic came out. I'm going to say masculine energy here, okay? That's good. Just, so this, this person, this masculine person is in some kind of karmic energy because they are going through some kind of winter karmic cycle here. Okay. Um, and it is like a hermit mode. It's giving me like hermit mode energy, shutdown energy, going through themselves, learning from themselves. They are being put in a position to relate, to step back, to look at the bigger picture and to release something that has been slowing them down. So you could be this current, you could be this masculine energy here. You could be going through a hermit mode, going through like a stage of karma, or this could have been somebody that you either, I'm hearing at one point you were like connected to. Excuse me. Yeah, but there's a brand new start. There's a brand new start coming here for you. Okay. So if you identify as being the more feminine issue, you and the, you and your again with this, you and your loved ones are safe. So your loved ones and your protection, your protective guides want you to know that you are safe. Um, that you are being safe and guided and protected from the negative influence of this karmic cycle this masculine is going through so spirit is telling you to step that to step out of your comfort zone to step into your north node energy okay to understand and expect that powerful healing 
powerful changes that are bringing about healing is really happening. So hold true to that, um, to that vision. Okay. And you're very close to achieving this goal, this like balancing energy here. So spirit wants you to know, balance out your spirituality and your practicality. So balance out as above, so below energy, right? Which will bring in this listening to the divine plan energy here. Okay. And they want you to know that prosperity lies ahead here for you. Yeah. That there, there will never be a lack energy in investing in yourself and worrying about yourself, sticking to your own lane, worrying about your own business, investing in your own energy, you know, uh, building up your business, building up your practice, building up your spiritual practice, building up your spiritual discipline, building up your play energy, building up your self-confidence, building up your body, building up your health, building up your mental, spiritual, physical health. There's nothing wrong with that. And that you can't you can't lose in investing in that energy is what spirit wants to say. Um, yeah, because it's a time for healing. There's a, a, a lot of luck energy is going to be here pointing you towards a lot of um, towards a lot of high vibrational energy here. So make sure that you are protecting yourself from any kind of intrusive thoughts, that you're protecting yourself from any kind of low vibrational thoughts, okay, about things not working out for you or things being too scary to try for you. Make sure that you are evolving be above that, okay, that you are evolving beyond that, that you are pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone of sticking, you know, just to yourself and not going out and not experiencing and not, you know, investing in yourself in a multitude of different ways, because exactly you are good enough for this brand new cycle that's happening. So if you are experiencing like negative energy here that's trying to make you feel like you aren't good enough, whether or not that shadow energy, that's in your own internal wounding energy, dark energy. Um, for some of you, especially if you were connected to this masculine energy here, okay, this is their own dark energy here. Or if you are this masculine energy here, spirit is here telling you, hey, persevere through this karmic cycle. Pay your karmic debts, persevere through it, uh, invest in yourself, worry about yourself, stop trying to affect other people, stop trying to send magic out to other people, and worry about your damn self, because that's how you're, that's why you're in this situation that you are in, just to, just to have a little tough love for you, okay? Worry about your damn self, and if you're the feminine energy, that counts for you too, worry about your damn self, Okay? Um, because there is this energy here of a brand new passionate beginning grounding here for you. This is giving me this Ace of Wands energy here. A brand new passionate beginning of the bigger picture of, oh yes, it's not just about this. It's not just about an individual karmic relationship. It's not just about me. It's not just just only about my friends, my family, my loved ones, my lovers, things like that. It's also about the bigger major picture. It is also about um, everything else as well. Right? Yeah. 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 So the end of a tough cycle approaches here. The end of a tough cycle is approaching. Okay. Eventually for this masculine energy, the end of their tough cycle will approach too, but they have a while to go. Uh, a new romantic cycle is beginning here. Okay. And you are awakening to this new, to this new beginning, which is going to have a lot of, it's going to feel very magical and it's going to feel very foundational. It's going to be very beautiful. It really is moving forward into this new energy here, this new romantic cycle that you have. Um, so your commitment to living in this new version of yourself is, you know, might be a little bit tested here. You know, it's like nine, four, four down on the clock, right? You are being guided and protected forward, but making sure you're, you're taking those 
um, that you're taking those lessons that you learned from the past and applying them to the future, right? Applying them to where you are going and what you are doing and what you are giving your energy to applying those new positive goals to your future and manifesting that new future in for yourself, right? My cat's in the other room doing something. I hear him knocking. He's either knocking down something, jumping on a shelf, something. Sorry, so that distracted me. I was like, what is my cat doing? <sighs> He's doing something in there. <laughs> Um, so that could, that could kind of be the energy that you were kind of in with this whole masculine energy, this whole distraction energy. It's like, well, what is that masculine doing? Well, what are they thinking? Well, where are they going? Well, what are they doing? Well, why haven't they come towards me? Well, you know, like, what are they going through? What dynamic is happening with them and their karmic? What's happening? And spirit is saying that this new cycle involves you kind of backing out of that energy, not so much involving yourself and what they're doing and where they're going and what they got going on and involving yourself in yourself, right? And moving forward and understanding that that you are walking forward in a good, positive, happy, vibrational timeline. Yeah, that if spirit also wants me to guide you, that if you are find, feeling these compulsions to pull energy um, about the past, try your hardest to not, right, to not focus on the past, to not focus on what happened in the past, to not focus on, like I said, to not focus on, well, where's my masculine? What's he doing? Blah, 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 you know, focus on yourself. Focus on what will help your journey better. Focus on what will help guide your journey further into the future. Again, that end of a tough cycle is approaching came out again. And it's kind of giving me this kind of, with this Capricorn energy, it's kind of giving me like this devil energy, like a cycle of, of being in this kind of obsessive or devil or shadow or doing shadow work, you know, looking inside that kind of energy. It's giving me like a shifting out of that energy. Yeah, shifting into much higher vibrational energies for you here. So you might be dealing with an issue right now of being able to bring some kind of love and peace and unconditional love and understanding into a situation that you're dealing with right now. That, so this could be love for someone else, love for yourself. And Spirit is saying now that a lack for a lack of being able to see other people in unconditional love is usually stems from a lack of being able to see yourself in unconditional love. So... There is this energy here of forgiving and letting go from what, um, from understanding that people are where they where they need to be at the time they need to be in, right? That people are going through the times that they um, they are going through the experiences that they are on different timelines than you. That there will be some people that you'll be able to bring with you on your on your journey, and there are some people that are not meant to come with you. That there are some people you are meant to to meet along the way, and there are some people that will 
you know, that are meant to try to cause obstacles in your way to be car to be like negative karmic soulmates along your way, or there are people who are meant to, you know, um, to provide you with knowledge through them trying through what you might perceive as a negative experience, right? Negative or negative karmic cycles, or there might be people along the way who really build you up. Um, and some of those people will try to follow you or try to stay with you or try to get you to hang on to them. And then some, you know, and then some, so this is about a, a lesson here of forgiving yourself and forgiving other people along the way. So I feel like a lot of you were dealing with a karmic masculine that was really hanging on. There was really, there was really some really deep karma in between you and this person to deal with. And it's been a cycle that you've been overcoming for a while now. And I feel like you have, you are finally learning to have a type of understanding for what happened to look back at the bigger picture and to see what was really going on to have less like judgment or anger but yet you might see this person as like a pest or like a person that is persisting trying to hang on trying to be in your energy even despite the fact that this person is being put through is being put through the ringer right now and going through their own karmic winter energy here okay but that's why spirit started off the reading with letting you know you are being protected from this energy that prosperity lies ahead for you okay you need to know that and you need to stay steadfast in that okay there's something really significant that's going to happen with you here around Taurus season because both Taurus energies are right here back to back okay um so understand that prosperity lies ahead for you in the situation that you have coming going on here okay and that your dreams that you are putting into place right now that you are manifesting into dreaming it you know right now is a good time to make to lay the practical groundwork so no so if you know that you want to start a business well what products are you going to want to make you know what service are you providing? How do you provide that service? Okay, I need to read the books. I need to get the, the the certifications. I need to make the LLCs. I need to get the products. I need to design the products. I need to design whatever it is. You know, I need to get the website ready. I need to do that, you know, or I need to get the physical shop ready. I need to get the, lay, start laying the groundworks, you know, start laying the groundworks for the plan that you know is like, you know, your overall plan. You're really being shown like a way to get there right so now that you're being shown a way to get there that you're being shown closer to like a, a shot like a, a like an end goal that you're working towards at least for right now start laying the practical everyday work that you can lay to to work to work yourself up to getting there because i feel like that for a lot of you you've been laying the emotional groundwork right the i believe in myself i can do this i can make it you know um i can break out of my shadow out of my fears out of my doubts out of any kind of like old karmic cycles any kind of fear any kind of lack mentality that i was in about being able or being smart enough or being educated enough to be able to do this right so you are really breaking yourself out of that and the solution to what you're going through right now is truly going to be to work through your fears right which is what you're doing now right and spirit is saying that having the mental confidence that prosperity does lie ahead in this that you are being given this goal that you are being given this to drive towards for a reason right to understand that and to understand that that if you do the practical groundwork spirit will keep guiding you will keep guiding you to the next stage and keep guiding you to the next stage and keep guiding you to the next stage and putting those financial ways and those people that you need to meet those soulmates that you need to to meet to learn the, the lessons that you need to learn to be able to have the experience that you need to have to do this they will be setting that up for you along the way so you when you do the practical work you know um they, but they can't um you they can't set up you know a way um for you to learn that if you don't sign up for the class they can't set up that you meeting that person if you don't take that trip that day they can't set up you finding those you know those ingredients that you love if you don't start looking for it if you don't start researching if you don't start researching researching say that you want to make a product well you have to know how that product is made and you have to start researching the parts that go into making it and you have to start researching what you know what certifications you need to get and you need to start you know researching it and you know 
making a title for your video for a title for that channel or for a title for your business start doing the research and the practical groundwork to make it a reality right stop just dreaming about it journaling about it it is time to really start making a practical reality and when you start making those and you a lot for a lot of you you are making those practical steps and those practical steps are going to start coming more more like leaps 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 forwards right continue along your momentum spirit is saying because you need to understand that prosperity lies ahead that you might have been stopped along your journey moving forward because you were made to feel because those if issues of fear came up those issues of lack came up am i good enough am i strong enough am i great am i great enough to to live in this in this um am i great enough am i strong enough am i capable enough am i smart enough to actually fulfill this destiny yes you are yes you are so understand that and walk in that reality that you are okay that you that you are you definitely are okay <laughs> um so what's your best advice heal your best advice for the situation is to heal is to really lean on your healing is to lean on the the lessons that you have learned in this healing journey that you have been on and to continue right to continue to place those practical those practical as you start to believe and you start to build your confidence continue right continue to do your inner child healing continue to do um for a lot of you i feel like spirit is saying you've done enough shadow work for right now but there might be things that keep coming up you know there might be something that comes up that that kind of challenges your belief system on that and so you have to go not go back to the drawing board because you've already reached a certain level where you're not going to have to go backwards right unless you choose to go backwards unless you choose to allow yourself to, to to slip backwards but you have come to a place now where you can there's only so far back, you know, you're going to allow yourself to slip before you're like, wait, no, I know this. I have this. I've come up with tools. Like, I know that I'm a lot more worthy than this. I don't have to have fears. I don't have to have doubts. So if somebody tells me I can't do it, I know that I can. Right. And I've got spirit back in me. I don't have to believe that. I don't have to be crushed by that or I don't have to be brought down by that. You know, I have better uh, tools of helping to fight off any kind of negative or intrusive thoughts that might be coming into me feeling like I can't or I shouldn't move forward or I can't move on without certain people in my life. Yes, you can. Right? So do the practical work and continue to make your healing and being there for yourself and showing up for yourself and doing the best you can for yourself. Continue to make that a priority. Continue making that a priority. Absolutely, 100%. So continue to make that a priority, to con continue to know that you are a priority, okay? Outcome, your hard work is going to pay off. That's what you need to know. <laughs> Uh, step back, look at the bigger picture. Your hard work is going to pay off. So like I said in the beginning, it will never be a waste of time investing in yourself. It will never be a waste of time investing in your security, investing in your foundation, investing in, in your knowledge expansion, investing in, in your um, financial security, right? Investing in your physical, physical security. So taking care of yourself, taking care of your body, right? Educating yourself on how to take care of your body, take care of your mind, take care of your house, take care of your home better, be, you know, be better at, you know, you know, continuing to allow yourself to expand, right? Expand, take up space, be a person here in this world, right? Because for a lot of you, you have dealt with a lot of issues of rejecting this world and rejecting reality because you felt very rejected. So you turned around and kind of rejected living. And spirit is saying that that's part of the healing, a lot of the healing. And it's put, and that's why it puts so much fear inside of you. But you are expanding now. You are expanding beyond that. And you are seeing that, wow, you're really, 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 like you've probably already been seeing, but you are really going to start to see the physical efforts of this show up in your life. And, and the more you see, and, and, and like, it's going to be easier and easier to see it now, Spirit said. Easier and easier and easier to see, to see it now. And for a lot of you, you are being, like, relieved. 
um, from something that had like control over you in the past. Yeah. Because there were a little bit of adjustments that were required, but Spirit is saying, have faith in these dreams, right? Have faith in these dreams. They do need a practical plan, right? But the practical plan was never, oh, be practical. You can't do that. That, no, that was your shadow self. That was your fear self telling you that you weren't strong enough to do it, but you are. And I really feel like going into this new moon energy because all three of these are new moons. This is all new things that are manifesting into your life, right? This is what this new moon energy coming up here, this new moon in uh, Aqu Aquarius. No, this new moon in Aries, excuse me, is this new age of Aquarius starting off really, really, really kicking off really powerfully in this with this new beginning of the new astrological new year that's happening on the 21st or happened depending on whenever I upload this video yeah yeah also there is some people that are going to be learning some very let's say powerful lessons yeah there are going to be some people who are going to learn some very powerful lessons and like they say <laughs> don't let your pride hold you get in your way hey the pride comes before the fall <laughs> Okay, is there anything else here that you want to talk about, Spirit? Anything else high vibrational that you want to talk about? Yeah, the number one thing that you can do that's going to be very helpful is to just stop giving this past energy energy. Like, stop talking about it. Stop thinking about it. Stop watching readings about it. Like, stop wondering what they're doing, where they're going, trying to get ahead of them. Let Spirit handle it. And, uh... Stop feeding an energy to it. And that counts as if it's not another person, if it's just your your past fear, right? Stop giving, stop feeding into fear energy. Because it can be like a distraction. It can, it can be a distraction that holds you back. Yeah, and if you've been asking... Okay, well, how do I do that? How do I show the world the real me? What what direction am I supposed to be going in? What am I supposed to be doing? Where am I supposed to be growing? The answers that you need are coming in that situation with this full moon in Gemini. Yeah, you've been on a, like a little pause right now so that you can, like I said, work through your energy, your mental energies of feeling like maybe you're not good enough, but you are. And that's what spirit wants you to know. Spirit had to say, oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, wait, pause for a second. Work on this internal work. Work on this fear energy. Work on the way you're manifesting things into your life. Man work on what you're manifesting. Work on your shadow side. Work on your internal. Right, work on your inner child so that you can really manifest high quality results for yourself. Because that's what spirit wants for you. So, yeah, they want a brand new beginning for you here, um, and they want you. To, they do want you to have confidence. And they said there is a difference between pride and confidence, you know, um, there is, you know, a healthy, a healthy amount of pride is confidence, right? It's having a healthy amount of confidence, you know, but when your pride starts going too, too much and you start getting too much, that's when you start getting into like ego responses, shadow responses and things like that, being triggered, attacking people, having issues with people just living their own fucking lives. Excuse me. <laughs> but there, yeah. So, 
But I feel like for a lot of you, wow. <laughs> wow, no shit. That is crazy. That is such a big personal synchronicity for me. You guys, please, 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 please pay attention. Um, please, 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 please pay attention to what your north node and what your south node is in, okay? Pay attention to those things. Look into your natal chart and look into those things. They're very important right now because it's going gonna, it's gonna to show you what you have been overcoming from the past and what new energy you are issuing in. What energy spirit is asking you to step into so that you can be fulfilling that North Node energy, okay? So pay attention. It's going to give you some, the South Node energy is going to give you some insight into the karmic shadow energy that you're really trying to overcome right? And that North Node is going to give you that energy that you're trying to really get accustomed to and to step into. What's different? What's, what is Spirit asking you to learn and, and what different energy is Spirit asking you to step into in this lifetime? That's what your North Node energy is about. What's your purpose? What's your destiny? You know, what are you destined to learn and to grow into in this lifetime? So pay attention to that. Pay attention to that, okay? That's so crazy the way that came out. Because <laughs> that's so crazy. Because, because, okay, South Node and North Node, my South Node and my North Node energy came out together with South Node and North Node, which is why I was like, yo, <laughs> yo, and it's so exactly what I'm, I am really working on. <laughs> in this lifetime like that's crazy okay so definitely all right definitely 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 pay attention to that that's so significant that's so so significant for so for a lot of you that is the energy right that's probably the karmic cycle that you've really been closing out here this south node energy okay and you've probably been closing out that south node energy with karmic energies from your past as well most likely Okay, but you're going to be stepping into this new energy. Excuse me. I love how that came out. Thank you, Spirit. That's beautiful. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. And that's truly, truly, honestly, you know, it was really strange how we kind of began this this reading. I was kind of just like kind of freaked out a little bit. I was like, whoa, what was that I saw? <laughs> I don't even know if the camera picked it up. I definitely saw it. I saw it in the camera and I was like, well, what the fuck? But but as the reading progressed, right, I calmed down my energy, faced it, moved on from it. And I feel like that kind of just embodies what this whole energy, what this whole energy here was about, right? What this whole energy was about was about transmuting that South Node energy any kind of fear, any kind of hesitation into your North Node energy, okay? 100%. So face your fears, you guys. Face your fears. And in facing that fears, you're going to be having this brand new passion, right? A lot of you have had this new passion and drive. We've been talking about that on the channel a lot, how there's this, been this grounding of this ace of um, this ace of wands, ace of swords, like finding, right? We, we're coming we're coming out of a, a, like an ace of swords where it's like, a, wow, know thyself. I'm knowing myself. I've been in hermit mode. I've been facing my self node. I've been facing my past karmic actions. I've been facing my shadow side, right? I've been facing my, wound, my inner child wounding, my trauma, my things from the past, making amends, doing what I need to do, right? Forgiving, moving on facing those shadow energies within myself. And there is this transitioning here over into this North Node energy, right? Of feeling this confidence inside of you, which is transferring over from this Ace of, Ace of Swords energy over to this Ace of Wands energy. Like, wow, I have a brand new passion, a brand new drive, which is going to transfer over into this Ace of Pentacles that we keep talking about that's coming in the channel, right? We keep talking about this Ace of Pentacles that's going to be grounded in here. And it's when this Ace of Swords has, or not sorry, when the Ace of Swords is finally in the upright, when you know that truth and it's a sounding truth for you, right? And that ace of wands truly grounds inside of you and becomes a new passionate drive for you to strive forward, right? 
for you to strive forward in this North Node energy, right? Being unquestionably who you are. Right? And that is going to bring a lot of healing, right? And that's really how you're going to close out this past cycle. Because this past cycle, this, this hard work here, and this like past cycle that's really been closing off is really this energy of you just closing out this path south node energy. It's all an important part of your journey, but it's about transitioning over now. This, the Spirit said, you know, we, we've we been telling you, we've been holding this pinnacle for you, right? We told you what's yours, yours is it's coming and it's going to be yours. But you needed to spend that time knowing yourself. You needed to spend that time exercising any kind of shadow energy, you know, any kind of like controlling shadow energy, ego energy, going through your dark night energy, right? All of that needed to happen so that you could transition over, right? One cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And if some of you were dealing with a karmic masculine from the past, Spirit just wants you to know. That's closing out. The cycle's closing out. You're good. Don't worry about it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for being here. I hope this brought you the love, light, and clarity that you needed in your situation. Okay? And... If you like the content, give it a like, okay? If you dug the vibe and you want to subscribe and join the tribe, what you waiting for? Go ahead and do it, okay? And um, let me know in the comment section down below if this resonated for you, okay? And I will see you lovelies in the next one, okay? Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you as always. Thank you to your spirit guides for guiding you here. Thank you to my spirit guides for, for being here, for protecting me, for guiding me while I delivered this message, okay? Thank you guys so very much, and I will see you in the next one. All right? Bye!